Hello everyone and welcome to episode 26 of the Stout Stitch Crochet Podcast. I am so happy to be back. It has been about two and a half weeks since I last recorded, but whenever I tell y'all everything that's been going on, you will understand why it's taking me so long. <laughs> so currently, literally as I'm filming this right now, my little sister has checked into labor and delivery and she is being induced in the morning to have her second child, another girl. So I will have my third niece born tomorrow. Super exciting. Um, so that's been going on. She's actually a week past her due date. Um, so that's why she's checked in there inducing her. Um, everything's good. She's healthy. She's fine. Baby's good. Um, I'm just so excited to get to meet her. Um, and yeah, so that's been going on the last couple of weeks. Um, been anxiously awaiting the birth of my new niece. Um, and Miss Arkansas Week is this week. So for those of you who've watched my podcast, I guess since I started filming about a year and a half ago, um, I'm sure I talked about this last year whenever I did it. <laughs> My husband and I are sponsors of the Miss Arkansas pageant, which is the pageant where the winner will go to Miss America. Um, and so we are, you know, big supporters of the pageant. I've been a big supporter of um, this organization since a lot of my friends competed in the teen portion whenever we were in high school and in junior high. Um, and so I've just kind of been sticking with it since around, I'd say probably 2005, 2006. Um, and so I used to be a board member for the Miss SAU pageant, which is the, um, the pageant that's a prelim for Miss Arkansas at the university, uh, here where I live at, it's Miss Southern Arkansas University. And so we're, we like to be involved in the pageant scene. <laughs> um, we, we do, um, donate to the organization, um, cause it is a scholarship pageant. And so we donate to the organization, um, in hopes of helping, you know, a young woman, uh, gain money to help further her education and so I think that's really great um, and Miss America organization is actually the largest provider of scholarships for women 18 to 24 so I think that's really cool um, and I'm glad to be a part of that but um, after my niece is born uh, we will be headed to Little Rock for the remainder of the week today is Monday um, to watch the pageant so there are prelim nights Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and then the final night for teen is Friday and the final night for miss is Saturday where a new miss Arkansas will be crowned um, and so we go every year uh, we get to you know watch the girls compete and it's honestly one of my favorite weeks of the entire year and it's the only week out of the year where I take vacation <laughs> um, so I'm super excited about that and I'm really um, you know really excited to get to be a part of that again um, so lots of things happening this week. So <laughs> new baby pageant. It's gonna be so much fun Also in my last video, I um, I had a giveaway going on uh, for mental health awareness and The winner of that giveaway was uh, Jennifer Krauss uh, I did leave a comment under your original comment Jennifer if you're watching this um, I left a comment under your original comment from that video. I just need you to send me your address to the stout stitch at gmail.com and I'll put that in the description below um, so that I can send you your yarn. Congratulations, I'm excited for you. Um, next, I have a giveaway coming up the Monday that I come back. So on the 17th, I'm going to post a video. Um, and this is, I've been collecting different items and different things for this since I hit 2000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. We're now almost at about 2300. So thank you guys so much. If you're new, um, I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel and watching these videos. Um, I want to do, you know, all these giveaways as a way to thank you guys and to kind of, you know, repay you for everything that y'all have done for me over the past year and a half. So I have a huge giveaway coming. Um, I'm going to post a video on the 17th, which is a Monday. So I think, no, it's not. Wait. Yes, it is. I'm going crazy. It's a week from today. Uh, um, 
that has everything that's going to be a part of the giveaway, the rules of the giveaway. Um, it's going to run from June 17th to July 1st, so you're going to have a full two weeks to enter. Um, as always, you will need to be a subscriber and just you'll leave a comment below. I haven't decided what I want to hear from you guys, but I will put it in that video whenever um, I do post it. So again, June 17th to July 1st. I mean, you guys, there's so much. I have such great and generous friends and people that I've been able to communicate with um, over social media, people that I have uh, interacted with uh, from having this podcast, from my Instagram page. It is amazing. So this is, this is some of the stuff that I've got as part of this giveaway. Um, crochet hooks, yarn, stitch markers, project bags, patterns, books, um, and a lot of other different things. You know, little, little yarn inspired, crochet inspired things. And so I really want you to see this. It's going to be multiple giveaways. So with my first big giveaway that I did whenever I hit a thousand, I did one large giveaway for one person. And um, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet uh, won that giveaway. And I love watching her channel. If you guys do not subscribe to her, please do. I'm going to leave a link in the description below because her energy is infectious. And every time I click on one of her videos, I'm smiling the entire time because she has such a great personality and you can tell that she really loves um, what she is doing. And I think it's fantastic. And I'm so glad that she was able to win my giveaway because I loved being a part of that um, and being a part of her channel. So but this one is going to be a little bit different. So instead of just one person winning, I'm going to have multiple winners. Um, because honestly, it's just so much stuff. I think we should spread it out a little bit more. I don't, I don't really want to give it to just one person because I want all of you to see, you know, some of the, the great people that I've got, you know, sponsoring these things. You can check out some of their, you know, pages. And whenever I do post that video, I'm going to post a link to, you know, their social media accounts or their Etsy shops or, you know, everyone who has generously donated to my channel, um, helping me to, you know, thank all of you guys. So it's going to be fantastic. Again, check in in about a week. Well, no, not about exactly a week on the 17th. And I'm going to have that video posted. Um, so I look forward to seeing and hearing from all of you guys. Now I'm going to go into works in progress, which I have one. Um, I've been, I feel like I've been kind of slacking, but I have been taking on some bigger projects or more time consuming projects. And again, with everything else that's going on, I have been very busy recently. Um, but one work in progress that I have, it is the Acacia sweater. And that is by, she's hooked on Tilly on Instagram. And so y'all go check her out. I'll put her name in the description, but I'm almost done. Like it's barely a whip, barely a whip. So you do everything separately and then you piece it together. So you do a front panel, you crochet a front panel and a back panel, you crochet the sleeves and then you piece it all together and you crochet the neck. Um, and then you're done. So. Here is what I have, and it's a crop top. <laughs> so for those of you who have never made a crop top, this one is really easy. Um, it's simple, half double crochets. It's not very difficult at all. Um, I've only made one other sweater, and if I can do this, then I know you guys can. So this is what, this is the front and the back. I've already got it together, like it's, it's stitched together on the top and this is inside out so I can have the seams. So there is that. And then I have both of my sleeves um, and I've got to attach those and then I have to do the neckband and then that one will be finished and I cannot wait to show you guys. So it'll be, it'll be really fun and interesting. Um, and I know I'm making a sweater in the middle of summer, but oh well. <laughs> Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm one of those people, like, I'll make shawls and scarves and, you know, gloves, sweaters, whatever, you know, year-round. Because uh, a lot of the stuff that I make, I do sell. So, this one I'll keep. But 
a lot of stuff you know I'm making throughout the year I'm stockpiling it I've got three giant Rubbermaid totes over here just full of product and inventory that I take to markets with me and I'm just constantly restocking stuff all year long so I may be making shawls in the middle of June and July but that's because they're going to be for sale in October, November, December <laughs> so and I do have one finished object and I'm so excited about this because I've been working on it for uh it's probably been a little over a month now <laughs> um, and that is my Lyula by Emma Potter. Y'all seen this on my channel as a whip a couple of times, and guys, oh my god, so pretty, so good. Okay, so first of all, this thing is literally like nine feet long. <laughs> it is. It's huge. So it's folded in half. This is this is what we got. Um, but the color gradient and changes in this is absolutely amazing. Let me start from the very beginning. So it starts out, first of all, look at this. Look at this pattern. Oh my gosh. It starts off this really pretty dark brown color and it starts to fade into the navy. And then it gets a little bit lighter here as the uh, gray starts to come in. And then it fades into this gray color. And then a lighter gray. And then like a, um, almost a white. Like I love this part because it's so light and you can see the stitches so well. Um, and then into this like khaki tan color where it finishes off. Y'all, this is fantastic. I used um, the sheep, I don't know, sheep seas, I don't know how you say that, whirl cake. I, I almost used an entire cake. The only reason I didn't is because it is a six row repeat, I think, and I did not have enough yarn to do another repeat. Um, so I didn't want to use the whole thing and then just have to frog it because I only made it through like four more rows. Um, so yes, this is my, my finished object, and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And this one is definitely going to be with me. I'm not selling it. There's no way. But, I mean, look at that. Love this. I know it's kind of lacy, um, but you're able to wrap this around a couple of times. And I look forward to being able to wear this. So it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so pretty. Um, I got so many compliments on it on my Instagram page. I posted a photo of it. If you follow me on there, you've probably already seen it. Um, and yes, I will probably be making another one of these. Y'all know how I feel about Emma's patterns. <laughs> but now I've got to start working on stuff from her new pattern book because she had her new patterns come out. It was probably a month or two ago. Um, and I haven't got to make any of those yet because I've been working on other stuff. But definitely that's coming up soon. Um, so that is done. I do have an acquisition. I mean, I had a lot of acquisitions because I bought a lot of yarn for the giveaway, but I'm not going to show you guys that yet because it's in a separate video. But I did decide to keep some for myself and I decided to keep, so I've never had any of Red Heart's Chic Sheep by Marley Bird. Marley Bird, if I could say her name right. Um, but you guys, I went to my local Hobby Lobby about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, um, and they had this massive sale. Um, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure, but almost like literally everything had like that little orange sticker on there where you know stuff is on sale. Usually, okay, so this is it. Usually this stuff goes for $9.99. Right there, you can see the price yeah right there $9.99 um, they had this on sale for $2.49 $2.49 cuz I was always that person I was like oh ten dollars like are you serious ten dollars is a lot of money to spend on 186 yards of yarn because I knew that if I wanted to even make a scarf with this I needed to buy at least three. And I'm like, am I gonna spend $30 on yarn 
from Hobby Lobby to <laughs> make a scarf with. And so I was always really apprehensive about it. But whenever I saw that this was on sale, I bought all they had in this color. Um, because honestly, I never make anything in yellow. I, I honestly cannot think of one single thing that I have crocheted and made in yellow. And I saw this and I was like, oh, I want to use that. They had four balls of this, and so roughly 750 yards. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't do the math. Um, but yeah, so it was really pretty. The color is mimosa. It's like an orangish yellow color. Hey. Ma, there we go. Um, it is 186 yards. I think I said, let's see. Yes, 100 grams, 170 meters. The color is mimosa. Um, it is 100% wool, but it is so extremely soft. Um, I do love it, you know, and I, I look forward to working with this. I don't know what I'm gonna make with it. So if y'all have any suggestions, um, leave some comments down below. Maybe a shawl or maybe, I don't know, another wrap. Something that I can do, you know, between six to eight hundred yards I guess so there is that and like I said I bought a lot of other yarn but I decided to put that in the giveaway so I will say it was quite a bit of yarn I got um I got like over a hundred and thirty dollars worth of yarn for 40 bucks I mean you can't pass that up I wanted to go back I probably would have gone back and bought more but the Hobby Lobby that I go to is about 65 miles away from my house. So there's not one in my town. <laughs> there's one about an hour away. So that's the one I was at. Um, but yeah, I just didn't have a chance to get back over there. Um, and then whenever I finally did go back a couple of days ago, I went on Saturday, um, it had been like cleaned out. So I don't know if they're making room for new inventory or they were just getting rid of a lot of stuff or, you know, um, but I'm glad they did. So, <laughs> so there's that. Um, my new pattern that I talked about in my last video um, is going out to my testers soon, hopefully in the next week or so. And then I'm planning on releasing that the very beginning of July, which is my birthday month. And then um, I will have another giveaway um, to give away yarn and a copy of my new pattern to someone so that they can make my shawl, which is right here on the mannequin. And it doesn't have a name, a name <laughs> yet. So I'm trying to think. Um, Y'all give me some good ideas in the comments below. Um, so if you haven't seen it, let me pull this down. I showed it in my last video, but it's got the uh, chevron edge all along the uh, straight side um, an asymmetrical shawl real simple you know I wanted to do something that wasn't too complicated um, my first pattern that I did had a lot of um, front post back post double crochets and um, you know a little bit this is, I feel like is a little bit easier I wanted to work with the negative space instead of having something pop out in a more three-dimensional thing like I had on my original scarf, which is um, this one right here, my Ice Diamond scarf. And I can put a link to that on my Ravelry page down below. Um, if you would like to purchase, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but I wanted to do something a little bit more simple and work with negative space instead of having it pop off of the shawl. I wanted to do, you know, this, this open work with a uh, crochet edge. And I just thought it was simple. You know, I didn't want anything, like I said, too complicated. Um, I'm gonna wear this. I feel like this is pretty unisex as far as a shawl can go. I know, you know, quite a few men don't wear shawls, but I know quite a few that do. Um, and this is something that was a little bit more reserved, which I like. Um, and also, Whenever I do release this, I'm gonna make a note again in the pattern. Um, I try to do this with a variegated yarn and it is very 
very difficult to see so if you do make end up making this um, maybe use like an ombre would, might would work and I might ask one of my testers if they would use an ombre to do it um, but definitely solids it will show up a lot easier with a solid um, but that will be coming out very soon and I'm super excited to share that with y'all and like I said I'm gonna have a giveaway um, so that someone can get the pattern and enough yarn to make it uh, and I'm super happy about that my pattern number two that I have designed. I know it's taken me a while. I don't understand how some of these people can crank out patterns like all the time, <laughs> every other week. Um, I've seen people who make like two and three in like a month and release them like all at once. And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm such a slacker. <laughs> like, I didn't release my very first one until like four months ago and it's taken me this long to come up with something else. Um, so there's that, but oh well. Not my full-time job, side hustle for now. Um, but there's that. And then I wanted to show you guys some things. So my husband is a sewer. Well, he can sew. As far as crafting is concerned, that's his craft. He can sew and he can quilt. Um, he's made clothes for me, costumes, project bags. And that was something that we had been talking about more frequently about him, you know, making stuff for, um, my channel or making stuff for me to use. I've been asking him to make, you know, different project bags for me or things that if he wanted to sell that I could take to market. Um, and so he's been making a few project bags and I wanted to show you guys because they're so cute. Um, and like I said, I love having a husband who can sew because some, some of these project bags that I see um, online, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could just make that or I'm gonna spend all of my money buying project bags and I have spent so much money buying project bags already and I probably still won't stop because there are certain ones that I see and I really like um, and my friend Caitlin makes some of the best that I've seen and that I've used and I love hers and she's actually donated some to my giveaway that I'll show y'all next week um, but he made these large project bags, this first one, which is my favorite personally because I love owls, but here's this. <laughs> Look how cute that fabric is. Look at those owls. Um, it's got a, like a gold yellow zipper on it. And I love whenever you open it. <laughs> it is chevron on the inside. I picked these uh, colors and this fabric for him to make this project bag for me um, because I wanted the owls of course because if you don't know I'm obsessed with owls <laughs> and I wanted the chevron on the inside because I just didn't want a boring color so <laughs> I did that cute little handle right here um, so there's that this is another one and this is like planets and the solar system and I thought these colors were gorgeous there I don't know if you can see it on the screen but there is glitter in this fabric and it's beautiful with a hot pink zipper and the inside is just blue and then this is one of my favorites because it's simple it's clean design um, I love the pattern love that with a white zipper and the inside is just gray um, but I love that don't y'all love that uh, and so I'm trying to convince him to sell some of these so if you like the way that these look or if you would purchase one leave a comment below and tell my husband that he should make more of these so that he can sell them because um, I think he's kind of apprehensive about it but I told him I said I think these are great and I think they're good enough people will definitely want these so let him know in the comments if you guys want these and go to my Instagram page if you do really want one or if you're interested in one um, and leave me or um, send me a DM I can think of what it was called uh, send me a DM uh, requesting you know what like what you'd like and then I'll talk to him about it try to convince him to see because um, I think if we get enough people that are interested in it we can we can convince them to sell it because he's made a couple of these and I think he's agreed to sell these uh, 
but I think he just wants to see how everything will go. Uh, but I'll put a link to my Instagram down below too, or at least my name. So, um, well, that's all I've got for right now. Again, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell so that you get all the notifications and that you can get um, notified whenever I post a new video. My next one will be a week from today where I'll post the giveaway information and I'm so excited to share that with you again, like I said. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. So that's all I got for now and I will see you later. Bye.